Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of my Right Botanicals. Here we plant seeds to help improve your mind, your body, and your spirit, help you get your mind right. So let's see who the Holy Spirit wants to use to help us plant a seed at this time. Which king or queen? Zodiac. Ooh. Queen of Pentacles fell in my lap. We had King of Swords and Air Signs. Okay, let's see. What else, Holy Spirit? Water signs. Let's see what the energy is, is surrounding water sign energy. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, Holy Spirit. I'm going to tell y'all something. You can love and be cool with whoever you want to love and be cool with. But if you know that the person that you are openly being love, showing love to and being cool with is up to no good and ain't about shit, your decision to continue to support their foul energy and their foul behavior behind the scenes gonna have your ass fucked up too. It is a thing called residual karma. Okay? So... The universe is taking note of the people who are supporting those behind the scenes or otherwise that they know ain't right. You think because you ain't doing it directly that it's not going to affect you. But if that's your people, if that's somebody that you love and care about and you are supporting their efforts to do harm and be evil, and do negative things against another, you are just as guilty in the eyes of the universe. So be careful who y'all be having all this comp compassion and empathy and love for. I'm telling you, because you ain't going to be able to say, well, it wasn't me. I didn't have, I didn't do it. That's them. Oh no, honey. Them days is over with too. You know how if your ass is riding in a car with somebody, and they, they stop by the store and they go in there and they rob that bitch and kill another. And they come back and they get in the car with y'all and y'all keep riding. If they get pulled over, your ass is going to jail too. So it's something like that going on here. It's something like that going on here. Clarify, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody has been conspiring with another it's called conspiracy to commit. There's somebody who's in some sort of conspiracy to commit energy with another against you. And they think because they're not doing it directly, it's not going to affect them. This voodoo here. But they know what this person is planning to try to do. Possibly do some voodoo to make you crazy. And I'm telling you, they both they ass going to be fucked up. Because this friend or this partner, this homie, whoever this is, they know what the other person is doing. They know what this other person is doing. Let's go. Holy Spirit, clarify, please, and thank you. And they trying to act like they ain't got nothing to do with it. Look, spiritual ties and divine ties are two different things. They have a spiritual tie with whoever this is. That's associated with them. And they feel like this is a divine tie. They feel like their relationship and connection with the person who's up to no good is something special. But it's not. It's karmic. It's low vibrational. It's steeped in hatred and negativity towards others. And this person that they got the spiritual tie with, they're planning to do something against another. And this other individual knows about it. Okay? Mm, mm, mm. I don't know why people think other people are slow. Especially when you be playing in their energy. Like, they not going to pick up on your bullshit. Because their soul is one of a kind. Okay? This person that, they, that this individual is planning to spiritually attack. Their soul is one of a kind. And the universe is watching to see... If their friend, their confidant is going to advise them properly not to do this against another, despite their feelings for them, 
Because they both going to get fucked up now. I'm telling you what the hell is going on. And I'm picking up on it real heavy because it's probably a bitch or two that I know that's about to do this same shit. Try to do this shit towards me. But I'm telling you, they ass going to get fucked up now. They ass going to get fucked up. And the universe is now trying to work through this bestie. The partner of this karmic. To let her know she needs to stop her friend while she ahead. Okay? Because both of y'all ass going to get fucked up. Not just her. Look. What came out here? They will never get over you. Bet that. It's in reverse. Because this friend is trying to do something so that you won't be the victor when it comes to a connection with the masculine. She ain't able to get over this masculine, but he didn't got over her. So she trying to steal your light, be your doppelganger to appeal to him. And this came out on my channel, my other channel the other day, where this hoe was trying to travel to go do some voodoo and steal the destiny of another woman so that she could appeal to a man. This is part two of that. I'm telling you right now, because the hoes got it confused. That shit not going to work. Whatever alchemy this hoe is trying to do against you and her friend know about it, that shit going to backfire on both of them. Because she really feels like if she can steal your energy, your aura, spiritually, this man will want her again. Clarify, Holy Spirit. That's why this water sign energy is out here. These people are all in their damn emotions. And they are allowing their emotions to cause them to spiral. Clear your energy in reverse. That's what they need to do. They don't want to do that, though. She wants to hold on to this negativity, this karmic belief that if she can have you fucked up somewhere, he going to want her again. We got farm life, country living. If you are the feminine who these women are trying to do some sort of alchemy against, it's really given that you off somewhere minding your business. Okay, you could live in the South somewhere. But you don't realize what these women are trying to do against you. You don't realize who it is. You know these people. We got artists. You could be an artist. Okay. Off doing your own thing. Not worried about the, either one of these individuals. You're not aware that you need to clear your energy about them. But you know them. You know these people. And this person is jealous of your artistry, of your talents, of your gifts. And they think that this spell is going to change the trajectory of your life. Put them on the path that you're currently on. So this man can ask them if he still loves them. Whoever this feminine is. Okay, she desperate as hell. But I'm telling you, her and her little bestie going to be in spiritual jail. Because prison time is going to be issued out for anybody that think they're going to do this alchemy on you. And it's a setup, baby. I'm trying to tell you. These hoes setting themselves up for failure. Both of them. This is a friendship. This ain't no relationship. This is a friendship. And one of these women want to come for you. And her friend standing right there supporting her ass. And the universe is hovering right over the both of them waiting to see if they're going to follow through with this against you. And she's already received some sort of spiritual warning or download that they shouldn't do that. Freedom. That if she wants to remain unrestricted, if she want to remain out of spiritual jail, she need to encourage her friend not to do this. I.e., don't come for someone if they didn't send for you. Because you ain't sent for this hoe. 
you off in some minding my business that pays me artist energy okay you ain't trying to be with it with this masculine i'm getting either clarify holy spirit like you like girl look what hit the table australia okay so you could possibly live in australia with this farm life country living you could live in the outback or you could just be that disconnected from what's going on with this man that you are not even pressed concerned with who he with who he not with who he won't but he wants you and she know that but you don't what somebody mad i'm telling you it's something about how disconnected you are how out in the boonies you are when it comes to being aware of what's going on you don't know why this woman is mad and why she coming for you you don't know that this man then probably told her that he want to be with you that's why she trying to steal your faith that's why she tried to do this alchemy on you but it don't matter if you know or not south i'm telling you it's it's how you are disconnected doing your own thing on some sort of minimalist simple living lifestyle you ain't paying attention to this woman you ain't paying attention to this man okay you're not bothering these people you haven't done anything for this woman to be spiritually attacking you over this man that's why that karma gonna be real harsh on her and this person who knows what she's doing against you i don't give a fuck how mad they are that don't give her no right to try to steal your fate you see that how that popped out because i'm telling you this whole fucking up she fucking it up she fucking up the thing for her and her friend okay let's get some terror on this because people got all the sense child and then they be trying to sit up and play and act like they ain't on this devil ass shit like people don't have mental clarity of what they really out here doing then they be trying to post shit to make it seem like they not really up that they really are up to the right thing but they really be up to no good and they need to be careful where they call themselves trying to go do shit against you, okay? They might want to be careful about that. That's what I'm hearing. Clarify, Holy Spirit, because see, y'all be running to these people like they may not know what the hell going on. Y'all be running to these people even like they may not know who you talking about. Now, I don't know why I just picked that up. But whoever this bestie and her karmic ass friend is going to to try to do this alchemy on you in the South. South is right up under alchemy. This person know who you are. Clarify, Holy Spirit, baby. I just heard that shit. Look, that's why I said these hoes need to sit down somewhere. Because these challenges that they that she thinks she about to create for you, this person is about to create them for her because they know who you are. Clarify. I'm telling you, I just heard that. See? Clarify, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Like they in your stomping grounds or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Don't even know it, child. Don't even know it, child. What else, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit? That's a shame. That's a shame now what I'm getting. Then went to go do some shit on you. And the person that's finna do the shit on you might be about to do that shit on them. Seven of Pentacles. It could be a Capricorn. Emperor. This person that's about to do this on you. They done heard about you, honey. You that emperor energy. 
I'm telling you now, that's why your soul is one of a kind is out here. That's why our artist is out here. Because you got some sort of notoriety, whether you off in the cut, living your little minimalist life or not. People know you. This seven of pentacles that this feminine is paying to do this long-term work on you now. They know you. Look, they know you. Page of Wands with the Emperor. You may be on a platform expressing your one-of-a-kind soul to the world. And whoever this practitioner is, they know who you are now. You might even encourage and inspire this practitioner unbeknownst to you. Okay? And when this individual came to them, screaming your name out, in anger and rage, wanting some sort of alchemy to be committed against you because she's mad that this man wants you. This motherfucker right here. Okay? Because he don't want her ass no more. She got mad. And she trying to get somebody to put a root on you. And I'm telling you, this person that she done went to to try to put this root work on you. They know what's up. They know who you are. They know the type of spiritual authority that you are. See, that's why. See, whoever this practitioner is, she know her history. Because she did her research on who she was about to do work on. This woman actually knows of you. She didn't just go to the spiritual realm and ask about you. She knows who you are on the physical realm. And there's some sort of admiration for you. But this hoe don't know that. Okay? And I'm telling you, this practitioner, this seven of pentacles knows that the reason why this feminine, this five of swords is doing this is because this king of cups has abandoned her for good. Whatever they had going... Okay, he didn't got over it. Because she had his ass up under some sort of illusion. Okay? About you. Possibly. This seven of pentacles knows all of that. And she was supposed to be in the seven of cups against you now. But she didn't went and tapped in. And if anything, she knows she need to be defending you, not trying to cause no challenges for you. See? See? That's why the universe is trying to talk to these hoes. Because they swear they cute. They swear they be doing something. And they swear them damn bifocals make their ass look innocent. Baby, it's a damn near like a reflection into your soul, ho. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. Okay? Them glasses be reflecting y'all demonic, cryptic ass souls on 10. And people, confirmation, that horn. And people have mental clarity of what these people be out here doing. They can perpetrate and post anything they want. I ain't the only one that's tapped in. And motherfuckers know how these hoes be running to practitioners, going on these damn trips. Acting like they there for one thing, but really be there for another. And I'm not fucking playing with y'all hoes no more. If I pick up on the shit, I'm calling your ass out. I don't give a fuck who you are, who you know, what you think you got going on. When I pick up that anybody is doing this kind of crap, I'm going to talk about it. And like I said, people can damn act like they don't know motherfuckers is up to no good and be supporting and backing they bullshit if they want to. This going to be the outcome for them as well. Okay? Because all that, well, it ain't me. I ain't do it. I ain't put my hands on it. That's her. No. Your ass is going to be included in that conspiracy as well. I'm telling you now, this partnership, these two women got, this friendship. If you truly are that woman friend, you will tell this five of swords, face head ass, 
Now she gonna be sacrificed if she tries to do dark magic against this queen of wands. If you really are somebody friend, you're not going to sit there and watch them do something that's going to destroy themselves and possibly you in the process. Because you worried about hurting their feelings. You worried about them and their emotions for this man who then left them behind completely. This King of Cups is sitting in Bachelor Nine of Cups energy because he wants this Queen of Wands. And this Queen of Wands off in the oblivion doing her own thing, not pressed about neither one of these people. So it just ain't no way she think she finna get away with this, her or her friend. No, they ask gonna be in the hangman. Anything else, Holy Spirit, King of Wands? Because whoever this is, that she done paid to do this alchemy on you. He finna put their ass right there. Whoever this Emperor Page of Wands is, this man want to partner with you. You coming out as his match. Like I said, you ain't worried about this King of Cups. If this is your twin flame or a past life soulmate of any kind, I mean, you ain't sitting up nowhere waiting on him. That's cool and nice and all that he wonder about you and may possibly be trying to get back to you, but you ain't losing no sleep, baby. Because this King of Wands is falling right up under this Seven of Pentacles. And I'm telling you, that is this Emperor, excuse me, that is this King of Wands trying to match your energy because he sees you as this Emperor Page of Wands and he admires you he respects you he wants to be considered in the same energy as you by the universe so him defending you he feels is going to help him ev elevate spiritually if he can achieve a victory over these women see how shit done switched up if he can achieve a victory over these women for you, this man is going to feel, feel a sense of achievement. He's going to feel like he has reached a spiritual goal or accomplishment to defend you now from these karmic ass women that want him to be in devil energy against you. She done paid him already to cause you to have some sort of mental health issues, addiction, depression issues, codependency, hopelessness, always be with violent, abusive people, have sexual issues. Like she really been doing a lot to try to get you fucked up, but you still remain here. And you do got somebody who wants to have a life with you who wants to make you a romantic offer you got another partner so you know this king of pentacles this king of pentacles see the holy spirit don't even want to talk about this king of cups child because he got hoes like this on your ass trying to fuck you up and shit but there's another man king of pentacles here who wants to make you a romantic offer so like i said honey you ain't pressed about this feminine or this karmic masculine, because he giving karmic masculine. I get he done left this five of swords, air sign energy alone. Okay, but the fact that he was even messing with someone who was coming for his divine feminine, that say a whole lot about him. And I, I don't know about y'all, but I can't lay next to nobody that I know been out here for possibly weeks, months, and years sleeping and dating with a dating a woman who was spiritually attacking me i don't want that man okay nine of swords because that's where your ass gonna be at if you let that type of energy come back into your bed into your life but this king of pentacles 
This a uh, see that's that's this shows you how you got hidden helpers. You got people who really like you, who be looking out for you. It's a king of wands and a king of pentacles out here. And a king of cups. You don't even want the king of cups. You don't even know about the king of pentacles. And this king of wands is like a someone who has like the same employment almost as you. So you definitely do something spiritual to influence and uplift people with that page of wands. And your soul is one of a kind. Okay, you do something to help uplift people, uplift the masses. And you have uplifted this King of Wands Capricorn. I'm telling you now, he could be like a Sagittarius Capricorn cusp energy or something. But this man, he, he's he been in, inspired by you. And when he realized that that's who she wanted him to do that work on, child, shit. I wouldn't contact that man no more. I would not. Look, he and the king of swords to her ass. She an air sign. And you know she love vibrational as all hell. Because she literally came out here as the five of swords and nothing else, y'all. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else? Please and thank you. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Anything else? Final messages. Child. Final messages, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Ten of Pentacles sideways. Whatever foundation she feels like she's about to start for you through him, this wayward foundation she thinks he's about to culminate for you spiritually, that's going to be culminated for her and this friend. That whole finna be in the Three of Swords. Now, I, I keep trying to tell people, but go on keep thinking you cute. Trying to copy hoes. Go on think you doing something. Do it. I double dog dare you to do it. At this point, I, I double dog dare your ass to do this alchemy on this divine feminine. I double dog dare you. Final card, Holy Spirit. Final card. Look, because she ain't gonna be on the top on the top of the wheel like she thinks she is. Okay, you gonna remain. In your spot. And that hoe going to be down here. Because this devil energy finna make sure of it. This finna come to an end. Okay? I'm telling you now. This person is an air sign. They could be an Aquarius. This person really think they finna change your fate and they, they don't even have no idea what the fuck going on. They don't even know. Child, okay. I'm telling you. They think this King of Wands devil Capricorn energy is on their side. But he is really opposition to her because he, once again, I'm gonna say it one final time for the people in the back that don't quite still get it. This practitioner knows who this divine feminine is that this karmic is trying to do spell work on. He ain't told her that, though. And she think he going to do some work for her, but he about to do some work on her ass, okay? And ensure that justice is served for you, divine feminine. And I'm dropping the mic on that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But if it doesn't apply... Let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.